Have you ever wondered if giants really walked among us? In the pages of the sacred scriptures, there are reports of colossal beings that marked their presence on Earth. In today's video, we will embark on a fascinating journey to unravel the mysteries of this extraordinary race, descendants of beings from the pre-flood era. To bring this narrative to life, we will delve into the family history of an iconic giant known in scripture as Goliath of Gath, a figure that transcends time and whose story resonates to this day. Follow us until the end of this video and prepare for a journey through ancient times, discovering the secrets and wonders of these fantastic beings. Are you ready to explore the story? Let's go. With the death of Goliath at the hands of young David, a gigantic and feared figure is removed from the scene. But the story does not end there. The veil of narrative extends beyond the most famous giant, opening a rarely explored chapter about the five brothers of this colossal character. These figures, as imposing as Goliath himself, played crucial roles in sacred scriptures and ancient battles, reflecting the grandeur and complexity of the traditions and beliefs of that era. In exploring their lives, we confront not only physical giants, but also the metaphorical giants of our history and spirituality. With this journey, we propose an immersion in the deepest layers of biblical mythology, where each brother of Goliath emerges not only as an adversary in war, but as a fascinating character who enriches the tapestry of ancient history, offering us a broader and more of the biblical world and its rich narratives. Firstly, it is essential to understand that these giants, known as the Rephaim, belong to a distinct lineage, characterized by their immense stature and supernatural strength, elements that differentiated them from any other human being. They were not only large in size, but also in their impact on the history and culture of the time. The first brother of Goliath to be mentioned in scripture is Lami. In 1 Chronicles, the description of Lami is fascinating and detailed. He is portrayed as a giant whose spear resembled the weaver's organ, a comparison that immediately conjures up an image of grandiose proportions. This metaphor not only illustrates the extraordinary size of his weapon, but also the dexterity and skill required to wield it. Their presence on the battlefield was not only imposing, but also symbolic, reflecting the power and majesty of this lineage of giants. The weight of their weapons, mentioned in scripture, was not only a physical measurement, but also a testimony to their colossal strength, which was feared and respected by friends and enemies alike. The figure of Lami, like that of his brothers, stands on the pages of history not only as a warrior, but as an icon of an era where the extraordinary manifested itself in the most imposing and admirable forms. Indexed in the narrative, the imposing figure of Ishbi Benab appears, another member of the Rephaim lineage whose mention in Samuel's scriptures brings us a story full of tension and drama. This giant, carrying a spear that weighed approximately 300 bronze cycles, symbolized an almost unparalleled strength and threat. The biblical text details an epic and suspenseful confrontation with King David. This encounter is more than just a battle. It's a clash of the titans, where bravery, skill, and cunning are tested to the extreme. The intervention of Abishai, a loyal and fearless warrior to save David, is not only an act of loyalty, but a demonstration of the dangerous threat these giants posed. The episode of Isbi Benobe highlights the constant presence of danger and unpredictability in ancient times, where heroes and giants faced each other in a world where the supernatural and heroism intertwined. The story of Ishbi Benob is a vivid reminder of the fragility of kingdoms and leaders, even the most powerful in the face of colossal and outsized forces. This giant with his monumental spear represents more than a physical threat. He embodies the great challenges and dangers that constantly hovered over the kingdoms of that era. Goliath's other brother was called Shaph, and he emerges in the scriptures as a truly menacing figure imbued with an air of mystery and fear. Described as being similar in size to Goliath, Shaph was not only a giant in stature, but also in the influence he wielded on the battlefield. His presence was enough to strike terror into the hearts of his enemies, a palpable reflection of the strength and power that his figure represented. On several occasions, Shaf positioned himself against the Israeli army, 
challenging them with his grandeur and skill in combat. These clashes were not mere battles. They were epic clashes, tests of strength, courage, and strategy. Last, but certainly not least impressive, appears the mysterious and unique figure of the Nameless Giant. Standing out notably from his brothers and all known giants for his unusual feature. Six fingers on each hand and each foot. This physical peculiarity was not just a curiosity, it symbolized something beyond the norm. An element of mystery and fascination that surrounded this giant. Its colossal stature, which surpassed even that of its giant brothers, gave it an even more intimidating and legendary appearance. Mentioned in the writings of Samuel, this unnamed giant reinforces the imposing and almost mythical presence of the Rephaim in Canaan. Its existence is not just a historical record, it is an echo of an era where the extraordinary was an integral part of everyday life. The peculiar physical characteristics of this giant not only differentiated him in appearance, but also contributed to the aura of mystery and power that surrounded the Rehaim lineage. These giant brothers of Goliath represent more than mere adversaries in biblical stories. They are symbols of the extraordinary challenges faced by the Israelites, showing that even the greatest obstacles can be overcome with faith, courage, and unity. The presence of these giants in Canaan was not an isolated phenomenon. The Bible mentions other tribes of giants, such as the Anakites, who inhabited the land before the Israelites. These narratives reinforce the idea that the Promised Land was a place of great challenges and formidable adversaries. The story of Goliath's giant brothers is an invitation to reflect on the battles and challenges faced not only by the Israelites, but by all of us in our lives. Each giant defeated represents a victory over our own fears and uncertainties. At the end of this report on Goliath's giant brothers, we invite you to reflect on the power of faith courage and determination in the face of the giants we encounter on our paths. Just as David and his warriors faced and defeated these imposing beings, we too can overcome the obstacles that life presents us with. Share with us your opinions and reflections on this fascinating journey through the story of Goliath's giant brothers. Your feedback is valuable as we continue to explore the rich stories and teachings that the sacred scriptures offer us. I'm very grateful for your participation in our growth as tellers of biblical stories. I hope to see you in the next video. Until then.